Well, the Jamestown group tasked with distributing a big chunk of the city's American Rescue Plan Act funding may have violated their conflict of interest policy after approving funding to businesses connected to the corporation's own board members. Our Bronson Rasmussen following this, he joins us live in the newsroom with more on the local development corporation and really what the issue here is, Bronson. Justin, as first reported by WRFA on Wednesday, the Jamestown Local Development Corporation appears to have violated their own bylaws, one that approved grants to a slew of local businesses which are owned by family members of those on the committee's board. In mid-February, a $64,000 grant was allocated to It's Your Day Wedding Planning and a $15,000 grant to Jamestown Skate Products. The wedding planner's owner is the wife of JLDC board member and city councilman Jeffrey Russell, while the skate product company is owned by JLDC board member Pete Shearer. Furthermore, a $9,500 grant was awarded to St. Luke's Church. The church's rector, Luke Forder, is also on the board. I'm hearing no other uh, questions or concerns. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those any opposed? Any abstaining? Abstaining. One abstention. While the three recuse themselves from a vote on the allocations, the JLDC's bylaws strictly prohibit awarding funding to any body connected to or that has a relation to a standing board member. The agency has the authority to approve grants under $100,000. Any price tag above that amount goes to Jamestown City Council for a vote. We look at the whole picture and evaluate each application based on um, what the real costs are for the project and what it is that they're going to do with that, what the potential benefits of the project are, the economic benefits uh, to the whole community, to, to tax revenues, to sales tax, to to job creation, all of those things are considerations in every single application. In a separate issue this week, the council halted three other allocations as they questioned a possible favoritism by the board. My concern is, are we really reaching enough of the businesses? And if they're telling me that's what they're doing and they're showing me that's what they're doing, we have to take faith in that that is truly what is happening. But I think the public needs to hear that too. Now the Jamestown City Council plans on having a joint meeting with JLDC sometimes next month to review all of the projects that were held and possibly discuss the conflict of interest within the Development Corporation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Bronson Rasmussen, WNY News Now.